the Greatest Showman, original motion picture soundtrack by various artists from Rebecca's Spotify. in this place. I went to the gym for the first time in a long time this morning and it feels really good to get back into it. January has been a bit of a write-off for me fitness wise. I don't know why I've just not been myself I suppose and I think that's quite common for people in January. I think people do get you know the uh, Christmas blues and they just feel down. Um, I don't know maybe it's just me. <laughs> I'm just getting ready to go to the high street because I'm meeting up with a makeup artist that I contacted recently because I wanted to get some um, work experience. I don't have to do it, it's just something that I'm choosing to do and I thought it would be really helpful for my course and for my new career that I'm trying to get into and I'm really excited. She is the only one that got back in touch with me. I emailed so many different places and yeah, I hope she likes me and hopefully I can get some work experience doing some weddings and occasion makeup and things like that over the summer which I think will be so good not only for like developing my skills and learning what it's like in practice and actually being out there in the real world doing it as opposed to my one day a week course. So fingers crossed for me that it goes well and I get some experience. Also I finally had my eyebrows waxed at college and they look so much better than nowhere near as hairy as they were and the shape is really really good I like it. I'm back. It went really well. I think she's going to email me some dates that she's away and I need to tell her when I'm away and I think things are pretty much good to go. Eric, stop messaging me. Now I just need to change into some more comfortable clothes and get ready to take Daisy to a jelly. <laughs> everyone I am just on my way to go and have my eye test if you saw in last week's vlog that I have um, dry eye they decided to book me a sight check um, on top of my contact lens check because my eyes were going a bit blurry so they just want to check that everything's all good with my eyes and they haven't gotten worse I'm kind of expecting them to have gotten worse because they normally do um, so we'll see how things go, see if I need new glasses. I've come home with this package and I think I know who it's from because she did say she was sending me something but I'm not entirely sure I could be wrong. <laughs> so let's open it and see. Daisy thinks it's for her. Are you opening it Daisy? Oh, are you helping are you? Hold on, might be something breakable. <laughs> Daisy, can you smell something that I... Get off, get off Daisy. Sit. Right. Hi, cheeky monkey. Get off. Get... Daisy. There's a card. Let's open the card first. Daisy, rip the tissue paper. Little shit. So there's a cute little Valentine's card inside it. How adorable. <laughs> Becca, who says Valentine's Day has to be about romance? Not me. Aw, I appreciate you in my life. Like, a lot. 
I'm so glad we met and proud to call you my friend. Love, Naomi. And Naomi is a friend who I talked to online and she is from Fat Fashion Films. If you want to go and check out her YouTube channel. Thank you, Naomi. I really, really appreciate this. I'm so thankful. And you are an amazing friend. Let's see what you sent. There is... Oh, cool. A little notebook. Oh, oh, I love these. Do you know what? These will come in handy. I have like a little list thing on my desk and it's running out. It's only got a few sheets left, so this is perfect. There is some really cute tea candles, which are pink. Let's smell them. Ooh. I'm not sure what smell that is. I can't quite tell. Hey. And an eyeshadow palette. A PS smoky one. Ooh, nice. This looks really good. Thank you very much. Oh, a stray candle and a cute little chocolate heart. I think that's what Daisy was desperate to get. Hey, give off, give off our presents. Daisy. Thank you so much, Naomi. I'll leave a link to Naomi's channel down below if anyone wants to go and check her out. She's honestly one of the nicest people I've ever spoke to. Do you mind? I'm just going to spend some of the afternoon since I'm quite free recording more Rise of the Doom Raider. <laughs> fairly productive. I've filmed today, I also edited and now I'm getting ready to go for a meal with Eric's family because it was his sister's birthday yesterday so that'll be nice. Hi everyone, we were going to go into town today but it is chucking it down so we've decided to go to the Metro Center since that's all indoors and Eric would like to have a little look around Ikea wouldn't you? Yes I would. So that's the plan today, not really that much. <laughs> it's so rainy. How do you feel like being a new bachelor pad? Yeah, I'm loving it. I don't know who all these people are, but I, they're welcome. It's so busy. It's too busy. <laughs> it's raining, come on. We've decided to have a night in where we're going to watch YouTube videos and movies and TV shows and we've just ordered a Chinese takeaway and we've got a ton of snacks. We've literally got a whole bowl of sweets. There, absolutely loads. So we're just going to pick out, aren't we? I've got my glasses on. No. You doesn't matter if you've got your glasses on. Don't look at me, I've got a fan base. I've got my <laughs> glasses on. And my spots are all showing. I don't have any spots. I don't know. 